Vivian. You were late, Mr. King. Yeah. And you've been drinking. A glass of champagne, or two, or three. And you didn't think to invite me. Perfectly well what happens when we drink together. Mm -hmm. I don't recall you complaining. And I wouldn't complain now. Love lips. Password verified. Identity Colin King. I can't believe you chose that as your code word. Well, I can't believe that you didn't finish your wine. <laughs> Someone's coming. They're already here. Sashi buddy, Colin. Playboy, adventurer, secret agent man. Roku. You're looking well, Mr. King. Who oh, is it, Ninja? It's been such a long time. Whatever this is about doesn't involve her. Let her go. I need a favor. MI6 is in possession of something I need. You're going to run and fetch it for me. So all you need me to do is bust into MI6. Anything else? I'm sure you recognize the wife and daughter of your precious MI6 contact. Neville Alcott. If you don't wish for them to be mailed back to him piece by piece, you will retrieve asset 147 and deliver it to me. You're crazy. There's a sub-basement three coat. Even the best can't break in there. I can't wait to kill you. You have 36 hours to bring this item to me. And the best part of all of this is I'll have front row seats to the whole thing. What the hell was that? Sensory nanites. Oh, how better to be close to you again, Colin. I'll be monitoring your every move. So don't misbehave.
Mr. Alcott, there's been a breach. Where? MI6. What, here? According to the spot perimeter, someone's infiltrated sub-basement three. Do you have an ID? The camera feeds have been cut. Get me Colonel Capshaw, now. Yes, sir. Responsive, sir. I can't get a signal. How many KIAs? Negative, sir. No depth. Agents are down, but vitals are still active. Main lobby evacuation's underway. Force them up here. Agreed. Lock everything down. Capture. Get your men here immediately. Let's go. Please remain calm. When exiting the elevator, security will direct you on where to proceed. Thank you. Please remain calm. When exiting the... Whatever comes through those doors has compromised our most secure level. Nobody fire until I say so. Ninjack? Hey, Neville. Uh, you got mustard on your shirt. Yes, I'm well aware of that. What the bloody hell are you doing here? Whoa, 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 wait, wait, hold fire! It's obviously some mistake. This man is with MI6. Hand me the asset. Sorry, friend. Colin, you have just broken into MI6. People are hurt. So you better start talking. Answer me, damn it! Take the shot! That's an order!
Ninjak has escaped with an asset from sub basement three. Initiate response protocol alpha. Activate Unity now! Seventy-four degrees west. Zoom in. Sir, there he is. Come on, Bloodshot, pick up! Sir, he appears to be a little busy. Do it! I'll kill this folk, I swear to God! What? We have a situation. <laughs> 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 Bloodshot, Ninja has stolen an extremely dangerous asset. I'm sending you the details now. Understood. I'll stop him. <sighs> Great. Now let's get a hold of the Boy Scout and the drunk. Normally, I don't condone gambling of any kind, but you'll be happy to know that your charitable donation is going to a good cause. This is for the kids of St. Mary's. St. Mary's. And because of your donation, you get a happy star sticker. Get your house off me. Hello? So red meat cannot clearly be in a salad, so they said put anchovies and thus is born. The Caesar salad. <laughs> How did you know that? Because I know Caesar. Julius Caesar. Hey, Amanda, get your arse back over here. That is no way to talk to a lady. I believe this bloody wanker. Get your arse out of me bar, now. Listen to the sound of his little wings. You and me, outside. Now. Hello? Sir, Neville called. He needs our help. We should go. Sure thing, kid. Oh, you have the money from the charity. Yes, sir. Almost 200 euros. Perfect. Baki? My chair. That's for the children. Sir, that's for the children. I never could sneak up on you. Or you are just getting rusty in your old age. You're wasting your time. 
And I won't hunt a friend. If you knew what he stole, you'd feel different. How many battles have we all been in together? Does this sound like Ninjak to you? I was there today. I saw what he did. And he is not the man we thought he was. What did he take? don't know how you did it, Neville. Do I really have to tell you about the birds and the bees, Colin? Yes, please. Do you, do you have some uh, photos on here? That don't we go could... too far back. You might be in for a shock. <laughs> <laughs> but not only do you have to deal with an unhappy wife, with swollen ankles, constant cravings, and then you have to go through the birth. And then they just hand you this thing that can't take care of itself and say, good luck. Yeah, well, when the moment arises and you're forced to adapt, You'll be surprised what you're capable of. And some of us adapt in bigger ways than others, hey, I guess. Hey, stop that! <laughs> wow, she's cute, though. you stories, little girl. Look at me. Good. Because she's telling you one right now. Things are nowhere near fine. Hey Susan, it's me. Listen, uh, I'm sorry, I'm afraid I can't have Gillian this week. Something major's happening at the uh, at the office. Uh, please tell her I love her and, and I'll make it up to her, okay? Bye. Come in! Sir, they're here. All right, finally. Gallard, live wire? Never. I'll leave. I'm sure Livewire briefed you on the way in here, so we have to- Stop. When I left the book in MI6's care, I was guaranteed unparalleled protection. How could you be so careless? What is so damn important about that book? The Book of the Geomancer is the complete history of Earth. It houses secrets from both this world and beyond. The fact is, it's gone. Ninjak took it. Now we have to figure out how we're gonna stop him and get the book back. If anyone knows him better than I do, it's you, Gilad. Who'd you send to stop him?
Neville. On site, target acquired. I'll have the asset in five minutes. <sighs> Make that ten. This isn't your fight, Bloodshot! I'm gonna enjoy this. We never liked each other anyway. This is bound to happen. Olive. Okay, so what do you have for me? Exo Man of War believes that he's located the asset. He's en route. We're just waiting for the visual confirmation. Well, that's good. Ninjak is no match for him. In two hours, this will be a bad memory. Stay focused. Only then will you overcome. Stay vigilant. Yes. Good. Enough. If I had my suit, then I'd have my guns and you'd be dead. You're surprisingly stupid for someone with a computer brain. My suit's indestructible, you nit! I'm ready. Let's do okay, it! Okay, guys, you can drop the macho posture. I can control your suit, and I can control your nanite anytime I want. <laughs> so you're both losers. Speaking of losers, hey up! I don't know what you're talking about. I bet on my boy Bloodshot. <laughs> no, you didn't. Mr. 
Mr. Armstrong. The point of this exercise is to familiarize, familiarize ourselves, with, ourselves with other people's fighting techniques and so we could develop a camaraderie. Yes, I've, I've heard that one. How are you supposed to do that if you're consuming alcohol? Well, first of all, it's not alcohol, it's beer. Secondly, if we all drank beer, we would fight together. And thirdly, I just fight better drunk. Fourthly, I, uh, I just keep talking until I figure out exactly what I'm saying. And when that happens, we're all in trouble. <laughs> Brother, that's enough. We are here to learn, not argue. You're right, and I apologize. Now the reason I wanted Bloodshot and Eric to engage was to illustrate the most important lesson in combat. A warrior cannot rely on the externals, such as guns and suits, for those things can be taken. A warrior must first rely on the internal, the mind, and spirit. For those things can never be taken. Bravo. How many times have you practiced that one in front of the mirror, huh? Please tell me you guys aren't actually listening to this rubbish. Look, the only thing an old fart can teach you is how to fight like an old fart. Okay, sooner or later you guys are gonna come up against somebody who is as good as me. I mean, not quite as good as me. However, when you do, all this philosophy bullshit, it's not gonna make you more dangerous. It's not gonna make you more lethal. Honestly, does anyone here actually believe that what this geezer keeps going on about would actually help you defeat somebody like me. I do. I do. I do. Really? <laughs> Interesting. Well, who wants to go first then? Easy, Colin. I would highly recommend removing your hand. A true warrior fights without emotion. Yes, they do. A true warrior. I assure you, nothing you can say will get to me. Okay. Only one way to find out. My bike!
over. Give me the accent. I always forget how tall you are. Oh, shit. So be it. You brought this on yourself. Stand down! This is not how we handle our own. He's going to destroy us all! We don't know that! Enough! He's a traitor! We can't trust him anymore. This is more important than unity. I'd rather have Ninjak's blood on my hands than the blood of millions! You think I don't know about that book? I've sacrificed more than you'll ever know! Then you know how important it is! Both of you, stop! He's gone! Finishing this. Eric! I can bring him in alive, but I need to do it alone. I'll give you one chance, but if he runs again, I'm taking his head with the book. Enough! It's over. This madness has to stop. Is that what you want? To fight? If I must. I know what kind of man you are. I've seen you in battle. When I was surrounded, I told you to run, to save yourself, but you wouldn't. This isn't you, Colin. Please. Let me help. I refuse to fight you. Strike me down if you must. Somebody just shot Ninjak. If he doesn't survive, I'm going to slit her throat.
Shadow Man. You're in my world now. You're safe. I'm safe, I'm dead. And because of it, two more people are gonna die, so you could save all your pity. Just get on with whatever else comes with death. You're not dead. Not permanently. What? Bloodshot discovered the nanites in your body. So he sent you here, where they don't function. Really? <laughs> he certainly is a clever asshole, isn't he? I'll give him that. <sighs> so... Exactly how long am I stuck in this miserable place for, then? The bullet in your heart will dissolve into a shot of adrenaline. So you must tell me everything that's going on, right now. I was forced to steal the book. By whom? Roku. She has Neville's ex-wife and daughter, and she will kill them unless I personally deliver the book to her. The danger that book poses versus two lives. You should have let them die. I didn't even know what I was stealing at the time, okay? And now I still have to save them and the entire world. It's a dangerous game. Too much for one man to take on his shoulders alone. I don't really have a choice, do I, Jack? There's always a choice, Colin. <sighs> All right, but we do this my way. Hi Susan, it's uh, me again. Uh, haven't heard back from you, just checking in to see if everything's okay. Uh, please call me back when you get this message. Thanks, bye. You see my bike? No. You better hope Ninjack's still alive. So where is he? He'll be here. Regardless of what he tells us, it doesn't change the fact. The book is out there. Easy, Arik. If you all wouldn't have interfered, I'd have the book by now, and this would all be over. There's more going on here than you know. You mad? Jack. Auric. Amanda. Ray. How is Ninjack? Alive. Bloodshot's suspicion was correct. Colin is being manipulated. By who? Roku. She has Neville's wife and child. Even now, she keeps a watchful eye on him. Your interference could be fatal to him and Neville's family. He is on his way to her now with the book. He told you this? And you believed him? Faith is sometimes all we have. I offer you no directions, only pathways. Thank you. Careful, Glad. There are even greater forces at work here. And you wanted to kill Ninjak, huh? I still might. What's our move? The lives of millions is not worth jeopardizing for that of three, no matter who they are. Even Neville would agree with this. Would he? Even with his own family? Sacrifice is a part of life. We should all know this by now. Especially you, Galad. If you want to sacrifice your life to save the world, go right ahead. But to use Neville and his family is nothing but a coward. You think with all the people you've killed, you have no collateral damage to show for it? We've all done things in battle we're not proud of. We must exhaust all other options. 
before we allow the bloodshed of any more innocents. All right. This won't just be Khan's burden to bear, but all of ours. So we are a trusting ninja, then. Are we all agreed? Yes. I agree. As do I. Good. I'll notify MI6 of the situation. Let's be ready to move. How do you know Shadow Man? I'm a walking dead man. Of course I know him. Tell me Exo's on his way back here with the asset. I have new intel from Galad. What? Neville? We should sit down for this. What's going on? It's Susan and Jillian. Roku has them. She used them to compromise Ninjak. They hurt? He doesn't know and we can't be sure, but what we do know is that she's monitoring everything he does. How? Oh. Sensory nanites. She's... So if, if Ninjak does not deliver the book, she'll kill them. Say anything else? Yes. And this is important. If she knows we are on to her at all, she'll kill them both. Is there anyone from Unity out in the field unaccounted for? No. Is everyone safe? Maybe the map will help. Where are we going? What, what direction is this? What's going on? Where are we going? Uh, hold on, hold on. Let me grab the map. Where, where is it? Left to right. Yeah, just keep it on the road. You're the worst. Go faster. Hold your horses. Horses? There are no horses. This thing has horsepower, though. Steady. Stop yelling at me. I think about the time we spent together. We had some fun. I know I wasn't very good at expressing it. I did feel something for you. But when I see you now, what you've become I 
have no idea what is going through that crazy mind of yours. I don't know if you feel like I somehow betrayed you or left you behind or Vivian had absolutely nothing to do with this. You could have just taken her hostage. You could have taken her with the others. Poor baby. You're a pathetic coward. And you know what? You always were. Is everything all right? Come on, pick up. Hello. Hey, it's never. Do not. I repeat, Please do leave not. A message and I will get back to you this century. Every time. Hope you're not planning on using that. I will, if I have to. Well, hey, you fellas. How you doing, Colin? Colin, um, where's that, uh, what's that thing we're looking for? The book. The book. Where's the book, Colin? Not gonna happen, Armstrong. You sure you wanna play it this way? Cause I was just out in that bathroom and I saw a whole lot of blood. Now there's two ways we can do this. We can do this the easy way, or we can hey, do- Hey, wait a second. Can I be the bad cop this time? No. No. Why not? Because you're not a bad guy. I can be the bad cop. You can't be the bad cop. Look at, you, you're you like a, an over, overgrown schoolboy. Come on. I can be the bad cop. You can't be the bad cop. Just watch, watch, watch this one right now. I can be the bad cop! No, do it to him. I can be the bad cop! Colin, are you buying that? Is you're intimidated. I, I can see, you're the... Uh. Is this doing anything for you, Colin? <laughs> <laughs> Mission. 
I repeat, abort mission. I'm sorry, what's that? He is being monitored by Roku. You have to let him escape, but it has to look natural. What? Ninjak is being monitored by Roku. Oh. She sent him on a mission, and if he doesn't complete it, people will die. Okay. So in order for Ninjak to complete this mission, you have to let him leave, and it has to look like he beat you. Oh. Do you understand? Uh, no. What do you mean, no? To tell you the truth, Neville, this is a little confusing to me. Armstrong, pay attention, please. This is very important. I gotta get that. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Hello, Armstrong? What's happening? Relax, your golden boy is gonzo. What do you mean, he's gonzo? What do you mean, what do I mean? I think that sounds pretty obvious. Armstrong? Neville! Jesus Christ, just tell me he got out of there with... He got out of here with the book. And it looked real? Well, Archer's in the fetal position and I got my head slammed in the door 30 times, so yeah. I think that's pretty believable. Well, good work, Armstrong. Well, thank you very much, Mr. Neville. Ninjak is on his way to Roku's with a book. Alert everybody and tell them to get ready. Understood. I just pray we're doing the right thing. Get the jet ready. He's here. Get the girls. Get up! Get up! Wow, this uh, place is a shithole, huh? Oh, hey guys. Okay, where the hell is Roku? Ah, Shek. Hana. Hana. Unde Farakats. Sas Saison Rocks. The Thrago. My master. Let me see him with my own. So, uh, you guys all shop at the same place, huh? That's weird. <laughs> well done, Colin. I must say, you make an excellent meal. Take the briefcase. Not until I see that they're okay. Ah, yes, of course. Girls! Are you okay? Did she hurt you? Not yet. Now, give me the book. First, you release them. You're acting as if this is a negotiation. It isn't. Go 
kill the girl. No! Wait, stop! No! Wait! No! Okay, you win. Go ahead, take it. Watching you squirm as you slice your way through your friends. Tell me, would you have killed them all just for me? Nothing I did was for you. Now just let them go. Goodbye, Colin. Wait! Wait, you don't need them? You wanted me, take me! Oh, don't worry. I won't be taking that. Just her. No! 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 Cuffs. Hold still. Uh, watch it. They took Jilly and they I took know. Jillian. We have this under control. Go. It's okay. Call it! Thank you. Thank you. Time to move. Galad, what are you doing? Get them out of here. Armstrong, do you have the binoculars? The binoculars, where are they? Got him right here. All right. Drive. Jump, all right? Where's it? Where's it? Put this on, all right? It's just like your school bag. It's like a backpack, all right? Listen to me very carefully. I'm gonna open the door, and you're gonna have to jump. I know it's scary, but you're a big girl. You can do this, all right? No, no, yes? I can't. You're gonna see your mom. You're gonna see your dad. To. I'm here to save you, but you have to do what I say, all right? So when I open the door, you look at me, okay? All right. And when you see your dad, you tell him. Tell him that Colin tried to do the right thing. All right? Can you do that? Here we go. One. It's on three. All right? One, 
too. There she is! To the left! Which left? Your left! I see the parachute! Drive! Over that bridge! Mr. Armstrong, sit down! even really have to like someone to look out for them. That's what it's like to be part of a team. It's more like a family. You don't have to agree with them. Hell, you don't even have to want to be around them. But you would die for them. We all have our egos, our faults. And trust me, I know because I probably have the biggest and the most. That's why I don't keep many friends. That's why these guys are pretty much all I've got. You're not hurt, are you? I'm not. Uncle Colin saved me. And I don't know what the future holds with me or with them, but I do know that I did right by what I believe in, and that is all we can ever do. Hey, hey, how you doing? How you holding up? Oh, I'm fine. You know me. Nothing. A nice bath and a scotch won't fix. It. How about them? How are they doing? They're great thanks to you. What you did out there, what you put yourself through. I, I, I should have trusted you. I, sh I should have known my... I should have... I'm sorry. I'm really sorry, Colin. It's okay. I was honestly only doing what I know you would have done for me. So I promise you, it is all right. on my bike, didn't you? Maybe. I'm happy you're alive. Uh, yeah, me too. We need you. Yeah, you do. This calls for a celebration. Let's have a drink. Sir, you've been drinking this whole time. Not nearly enough. 
<laughs> I think it's high time we redesigned the asset vault in sub basement three. Agreed. Thank you. Anytime. Hey, I'm uh, sorry for freezing you. Yep. So this is the part where you apologize to me for shooting me, making me fall off a cliff. Nope. So, are you ready to go home? Yeah. You heard her? Let's go, everyone. I mean, if an asshole like me can save the world, then isn't there hope for all of us? Ha, ha, ha.